I think they're spreading the word. There's another one who just showed up. They're just waiting for me to catch fish. If I catch another tiny one, I'm gonna move spots. But let me see if I can. Sneaky released us before the seagulls. Try to take it. Be free! No! What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for today we're actually back up in the Monterey Bay area and we're gonna do some fishing in Pacific Grove. You guys already know how this is gonna go. I love fishing the Monterey. This is my favorite place to fish. So the goal for today is to see if we can catch some really, really nice surf perch. It's a beautiful day, nice and sunny, very, very light breeze. I'm so excited, it's not even cold. But enough chit chat, let's set up and get the fishing. Let me show you how I process my shrimp for bait. I always recommend getting the head on, shell on type of shrimp. Each one of these little segments right here is one piece of bait. So we got six pieces right here. Don't need the head, you can just kind of chop it off. Give it to the little crabby boys. Just chop them up and there you have it. Six small pieces of bait with one shrimp. Whether you keep the shell on or off, it's up to you. I like to hook it up at a little corner and I just kind of ring it back down into the meatiness of it. Just make sure your hook is a little bit exposed. I'm also not using a high-low rig. I only got one loop and one size six hook. I don't even know what it's called. It's like the most basic fishing setup you can do. Man, this is actually a little spooky. But before we get started, we gotta talk about safety. It's super important, especially at this area. If you fall or trip here, you're gonna have a really bad time. Make sure you got appropriate footwear. I got some army boots. These got really good traction. Be mindful where you're gonna step. Definitely stay away from the edge. The goal is to fish and have fun, not fish and end up in the hospital. Okay, let's get started. Oh wait, don't forget to tighten your drag all the way. This is technically like cliff fishing and or rock fishing. There's a lot of buried rocks everywhere. There's a whole bunch of kelp. You know, structure is good because fish like to hang around structure, but if you get stuck in the rock, you're not gonna win. And let's just cast right there and see what happens. I think I'm getting some nibbles. Yeah, that's some good nibbles right there. There we go, first fish. Let's see what we got. Nice, it's a striped surf perch. Nice, look at how cool he is. Not the biggest one I've caught, but this is why I love fishing in Monterey. That was in the water for probably 15 seconds max. Beautiful fish though. Love how shiny they are. I don't know if the GoPro can pick up the nice blue though. Shoot, how am I supposed to release them? I'm pretty high up. Okay, this looks like a better spot. Oh yeah, there's a big wave coming in. Thanks for playing, Mr. Striped Surf Perch. I'm really sorry about that. Still got a little piece of bait left. Let's see if this will catch something. There's so much fish up here. Got a few nibbles. Are we going? Oh no, line snapped. Shoot. Another important tip when you're rock fishing, bring a lot of extra weights and hooks or whatever you need. I know there's probably a bunch of small fish nibbling, but man, figuring out where to cast is half the battle. Let's try casting it kind of far. Okay, that was really far. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Oh no. That's what I get for casting so far. The heck was that? Hello, Mr. Fishy? Are you on? Nice, another striped surf perch. If I remember correctly, these guys like to hang out in rocky areas. Makes sense that I'm catching these so far. Look how beautiful he is. Such a cool fish. All right, let's throw you on back. I am trying to plan to do a catch and cook, but this guy's a little too small, especially since I know how big these guys normally get. Come on, Mr. Wave, come back in. All right, thanks for playing. I wonder where all the big surf perch are at. I mean, these are still pretty big. I don't want to keep anything too small, even though these are pretty big. You guys know what I mean. I'm just gonna reel up to check. <laughs> hey, wait, we caught something. Nice, what are you? Man, you're so tiny. Thanks for playing tiny black rockfish or blue or whatever. 
probably one of the smallest rockfish I've ever caught. Let's go explore around a bit. Maybe there's some more hidey holes with some good fish in them. Why don't we go somewhere over there? Here's another forewarning. If you do come fish in the Monterey area, do double check all the regulations. There's a lot of MPAs around Monterey, so just be mindful of that. Of course, also be super extra safe. We wanna fish and be safe. No one gets hurt and all's good. But man, look at this drop. It's like sheer cliffs. All right, this looks like a good spot to set up base. Let's try right there first. Very windy at this spot for some reason compared to the last one. All right, here we go. Let's see if we get some instant nibbles. Oh, getting some. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, wait, we got one. Haha, -ha, another dinky rockfish. Thanks for playing, little guy. Let's see if there's anything else besides small rockfish in the same spot. A lot of structure around, relatively deep water. There we go, another nibble. Nice, next one. Ah, uh, he fell off. Didn't look too big though. Probably like a five inch striped surf perch. I love fishing up here, even if it's just dinky boys. It's like almost instantly, as soon as you cast down, you get a little nibble. If we happen to catch a good sized rockfish, that'd be great for a catch and cook too. I don't even need to say nibbles anymore. Just assume that if I cast out, it's probably nibbling right away. That was a good one though. Another one. Yeah, if we catch one maybe like this big, I'll go ahead and keep it. Like I do wanna be able to release them a little bit better, but there's no safe place for me to get down. Your safety is a lot more important than a fish, but you also wanna be respectful. The seagull's been staring at me. No, don't tell me it took me into a rock. I lost my weight, but at least I got it out. I think they're spreading the word. There's another one who just showed up. They're just waiting for me to catch fish. Why are there so many of you tiny boys? I mean, that's a good sign. Always good that there's a lot of fish. Another dinky boy. If I catch another tiny one, I'm gonna move spots. But let me see if I can. Sneaky release this before the seagulls try to take it. Be free! No! Yeah, no, I'm just gonna move now. This spot is too high to release any fish. They need a little second as soon as they land to swim back down, but Mr. Beach chickens are just waiting for me for a free meal. I'm sorry, dinky rockfish. Or all the dinky rockfish I released today. The darn beach chickens. Someone left a beer can here. Pick up your trash, people. I'm gonna take this out with me, might as well. This rocky outcrop looks a little bit closer in terms of how high I am. Just take your time. There's no need to rush. Get to where you need to go safely. Yeah, this spot looks good. Let's give this a go. Quick water break. Don't forget to stay hydrated while you're fishing. Ah, nice ice cold water. Always hits the spot. Yep, another dinky rockfish. I think that's the only thing out right now. But on the bright side, at least I can release you better. No beach chickens around. Thanks for playing, dinky boy. Nice, okay. Finally, another bigger fish. Come on, what you got, what you got? Nice, let's go. Just what we're looking for, a nice big surf perch. Finally, woo! Yeah, this is a good size one too. Since I am gonna keep this fish, what you wanna do when you're gonna dispatch them is you plonk them with like a bat or a rock and then you cut their gills to bleed out. That will help get rid of some of the fishy taste. What a beautiful fish though. Look at that. Love the little blue on their cheeks. They're all striped down. That's why they're called striped surf perch. Took a while, but we finally got ya. Thank you for your sacrifice, Mr. Striped Surf Perch. You want one really good bonk. You don't want them to suffer. Just right here on the head. So here we go. 
After that, cut their gills. Their heart's still beating, so they'll slowly bleed out, lose consciousness, and go into a nice peaceful sleep. You can use a knife or some scissors. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a knife. Okay, so rough estimate. Looks like he's about, let's just say 10 inches. This is a nice 10 inch striped surf perch right here. Thank you, Mr. Striped Surf Perch. It's been a long day. I'm gonna cast one more time in the same spot. Let's see if we can catch another one. If we don't, that's fine. We got everything we need for the catching cook, but let's see what else we can catch. Some more small nibbles, maybe a baby rockfish. Just like I thought, another dinky rockfish. That's enough fishing. Thanks for playing, tiny rockfish. Ooh. Let's clean up and get to the catching cook. So first you wanna do, gut the fish, take your knife and go right up the butthole. I got a little trash bag to my left. I'm just gonna put the guts in there. Next, what we wanna do is fillet the fish. So to fillet the fish, you just kinda take the knife and run it down until you hit the bone. And you just run your knife against the spine. And you just kinda make your way along the edge. Once you got that going, you can just kinda flip it up and just keep running your knife all along the bones. Just get as much meat off as you can. Once you get to this part, you're gonna run into the pin bones. You can just go ahead and try to cut straight through it. It'll make everything easier. And there you have it. One fillet, not the best fillet job, but I think I did an okay job. Hey, great, because that's not a fillet knife. Very true. I need a fillet knife, huh? So to skin it, I took the knife and separated the meat and the skin a little bit. Slowly go against the skin. Take your time, no rush. Hey, it actually looks pretty good. I got a good chunk of the meat out and that's good enough for now. A very butchered filet. <laughs> Do the other one and then let's start cooking. So here are the filets, all nice and rinsed and butchered. We're gonna be frying it with some extra light tasting olive oil. This is good for frying. Start by turning on the thingamabob down here. I let some of the gas go so you hear some hissing. Take the lighter and just go. Now the oil should be heating up. The chicken. Where? The he chicken? wants your fish. For seasoning, we're gonna be using onion, garlic, some lemon pepper. Amber made these with some old straws. If you ever wanna like pack some really small little spices for your little trip, you can use old straws. Don't need to bring everything out. And start with the onion. Then we're gonna put some of the garlic. And then we're gonna put the lemon pepper. What's that noise you ask? It's the seagull trying to eat the fish carcass. Goodbye. Well, I guess I'm just gonna make everything even. That should do it. And now we get to the frying. Gently place your fish into the oil. Next piece. Fish doesn't take very long to cook. It already smells pretty awesome though. Yeah, it smells really good. Go ahead and just do a little flip. Oh, this one's already breaking apart. This one's almost done. One way to test to see if your fish is done cooking is you take your fork, put it in, and then you twist it. If it's flaking, it's good to go. Now we just gotta transfer it out. Carefully take the fish and put it on the plate. Like I said, fish does not take long to cook at all. You don't wanna overcook it. It'll start flaking and breaking while it's in here. I mean, it kinda already is, but that's okay, not a big deal. So now that all the fish is done, what you can also do is you can buy some boil in the bag rice. So you have a little rice base. It's very cool. You literally just have this bag, you boil it for like 10 minutes. Normally I cook it with a rice cooker, but I can't really do that out here. Amber already boiled it for me. Plop it out of the bag. A nice wholesome meal, fresh from the ocean. Caught it like an hour ago. Where'd you catch that box of rice? The grocery store. <laughs> Doesn't look the prettiest, but we're gonna do a little spice. I got this peppercorn medley grinder. It's just a whole bunch of different peppercorns. It's actually really cool. Just a bit, nothing too crazy. And I also got Himalayan pink salt. Really like Himalayan salt, I'm not sure why. I crave that mineral, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. Nothing too crazy as well. And that's it. All we gotta do is now taste it. So let's see how this is. Oh, that is really good. That's so fresh. Small hint of fishiness, but I mean, it's fish. The trout was rice. Oh, that's really good. So, striped surf perch. I've heard it's a little mushy. I can see why people say that. It was falling apart when it was frying, but overall, not bad at all. I'd give this like a, maybe like a four out of five. Definitely enjoying it, and I'm pretty hungry. I went fishing the entire day. 
Definitely worth it though. Through all the baby rockfish, we finally got the keeper stripes surfer.